Today we're going to be looking at my ballistic helmet package that I've been putting together for a little while now. And if you follow the channel, you'll know I started putting together a full kit. And a lot of this stuff was coming from RTS Tactical. A very nice plate carrier with cummerbund and ceramic plates at an insanely low price. Some of the nicest ceramic plates and plate carrier I've ever seen. Plus at some of the cheapest prices I've ever seen for ceramic plates. So I started to review their play carrier and man was I insanely impressed at the quality of components and just the ease of use of that carrier. I've been shooting with it for a while now. The second thing I reviewed from RTS Tactical was one of their revision ballistic helmets and helmet covers. And this was my first experience with a true up to date military issue helmet and something like this again was insanely impressive. The way it fit. The strap method, the adjustment knob on the back, and the overall quality and feel of the helmet was second to none. But again, the price point was very good. I actually have a $50 off coupon code if you go into the description for both the carrier and the ballistic helmets. And the cover itself is actually kind of running out of stock. And I believe they have a few, maybe 16 to 20 of the helmets left going by their stock counter online. So if you want this helmet or set a body armor at the end of this video, make sure you go check out RTS Tactical because they have some really good stuff. Now Optics Planet came in to support this project and they are a huge supporter of the channel. Remember to use that coupon code 704Tactical for 5% off of any Optics Planet order. Without their support, it'd be really difficult to complete a lot of these video projects and show you guys, in this case, how to set up a ballistic helmet. So the first thing we did from Optics Planet was actually try out these Peltor sound traps. These are my first set of electronic hearing protection that I've ever tried and they worked very well. You can turn them on, they actually amplify surrounding sounds so you can have normal conversations. But when a gunshot goes off, the mic detects that loud decibels and shuts it off instantly so you have full hearing protection. Then when the gunshots stop, you can have normal conversations. And having something like this revolutionizes the way you go to the range. And it is so much nicer to have something like this than just your standard hearing protection. They run about $100, but again, I've got that code for 5% off to knock it down. And that will be in the description as well. The problem with having a lot of hearing protection though when it comes to ballistic helmets is the fact that you normally have to ride them with a the strap behind your neck because they won't fit underneath the helmet. It just doesn't work like that. So what we're looking at today is actually a set of Unity Mark Modular Attachment Rail Systems. Now, Unity Tactical makes these adapters. Now, it was a little confusing at first because there was no instructions, which is about the only downfall I'm gonna say, and maybe one more. But these adapters actually slide onto your rail system and tighten down, and that's about my second con. These don't get super tight. You could still see slide them around if you push hard enough. Now I'm sure I could shim them or something like that, but they make these adapters for all different types of helmets and these particular adapters are for the revision high cut helmet. So it should lock down solid, I believe. But it's not that big of a deal because you slide them into place and then these wires and everything hold them in. And then as soon as you put a little tension with your ears on this, they are not going anywhere. They lock down. So maybe that is part of the features. But again, I couldn't find any instructions to explain that. It just shows you how to install them. So I'm not quite sure about that. But again, the minute you put a little bit of pressure on these, they lock down and you can't physically move them. So maybe that is part of the design. I tried to look up some reviews to explain how to use them. And this is actually one of the first ones online. So I wanted to do these justice and I wanted to explain everything accordingly. To install them, you literally just take this piece off with this Allen screw and it shows you guys that right there. This slides up and out, and then there's two set screws that attach this back black rail system to the tan piece. So you actually slide these wireframe adapters over here once you've tightened everything down and get it lined up. It may tighten down securely on your particular helmet, but again, mine was slightly loose. Not that big of a deal because I've never ever had a problem while using these. The next confusing thing was how do you get your Soundtrap Peltors on here? There's no instructions. I thought maybe you have to use the old wireframe or disassemble the wireframe. No, you merely pull these plastic ones, pop, pop off the other two wireframes, and then they snap onto this wireframe, and now they are fully adjustable up and down. 
And then actually what you can do, I showed in the intro, you can pull this down and fold it back over to get the hearing protection out of your way. But you can see how flush they fit inside the helmet and it's very comfortable hearing protection and a very low profile hearing protection design. So I'm incredibly impressed and I hope this answers all of your questions about how to install something like this. Once you get that wire frame and everything on there, you just put that Allen key back on, tighten it down and you are good to go. This actually allows you much more room to adjust your straps accordingly. Whereas if you are running hearing protection around the back with those wire hearing protections like I was using in the first videos with this revision helmet, it was a little difficult to put the straps on 100%. So having something like these adapters is a must have. Now they do run a little bit more than what you would think. I think they're about $70 a pair, but it's because how many guys are truly making adapters for these helmets? I believe it's a supply and demand thing. If you want something like this, you might have to pay a little bit more because a lot of guys aren't buying it, but I can tell you they are 100% worth it because every other option I've seen is just a little bit more difficult to interface with your helmet. Something like this is super easy if you have a Minuteman kit or you're on duty or you're a patrol officer and you need to grab something quickly, you can just grab this helmet, throw it on, your hearing protection is there, you can turn it on to easily communicate. And I believe these also have connection points for a radio. So everything can be built right into your helmet, throw some eye protection on and you're good to go in a personal defense situation or a duty situation where you have to defend your life against something in law enforcement. So something like this is a great setup and I'm incredibly impressed with these adapters. If you want a full review of this ballistic helmet and hel helmet cover, go check that out. I try to give a detailed description of how everything works and how to install the helmet cover. I also talk about why you'd want a ballistic helmet. Also, I have a full review on that body armor and this is becoming my go-to kit. I didn't want to skimp and this Unity Mark modular rail system is incredibly impressive. And for that $70 and a little bit cheaper with my code, you can easily adapt pretty much any type of good hearing protection to this helmet, which makes it even more easily accessible in a personal defense or a quick scenario. Something like this is great to have and I'm incredibly impressed with the quality of these things. I'll be updating you guys in the future on the full kit, but I wanted to bring you along for this process. So again, a huge shout out to Optics Planet for always supporting the channel and always providing what we need so I can try it out first and figure it out. Also, if you have any questions about installation, if you happen to buy this, leave this in the comments below. And if for some reason I miss your comment, please send me a message on Facebook. I've been trying to monitor my Facebook a lot more lately as well as my Instagram, and that allows me to post deals every day as well as answer messages. And something like this may be a little bit confusing for install. It wasn't actually that bad, but if you do have any confusion with the ballistic helmets, just shoot me an email, a message on Facebook or an Instagram post, and I will try to answer those questions. And again, a huge shout out to RTS Tactical for providing the ballistic helmets as well as the carrier. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.